We are now approaching heat number five of round one. This has been a long day so far, but we're almost there. We are almost done as we, after this heat, we're gonna be halfway done with round one of heats. So let's take a look at the starting lineup here for heat number five. Defending champion Martin Truex Jr. is gonna start on pole. He had the fifth fastest overall time at a 19.860. And he has currently accumulated 87 points. He hopes to add another 100 so that he could be a good solidified pick into the A main. Starting alongside him, though, is Terry Labani. Terry Labani, last time he raced in the Cup Series was in 2014 for Go Fast Racing. But Terry Labani is back for this race for Premium JR Motorsports. Also, as a side note, his car is a throwback to his championship season as with 1996, which is also the last year North Wilkesboro was an active track on the Cup schedule. Row two, we got Brad Keselowski, the first dodge in this field as he is gonna start in the third position. And Chase Briscoe, so all four manufacturers are gonna start in the top four with Chase Briscoe in a new Store Hot Racing Ford with number 49. Four because four is a big part of Store Hot Racing and a nine as a throwback to Ryan Newman when he drove 39 back in 2009 through 2013. Starting in row three, we got Ryan Priest driving the DGR Crosley Racing car. David Gilliland was originally going to drive this car, but Ryan Priest with Craftsman, they wanted to race this race, and so David Gilliland was kind enough to step aside, and Ryan Priest is going to drive this special car for DGR. And speaking of special, alongside him is Kaz Grala, driving the Fury Racing Dodge with 61 and Nets as sponsor. Kaz Grala, could he pull a big upset here today? And then in the final row, the fourth and final Furniture Row Racing car of Brandon Jones with Ream not alongside. And then Carl Long in the 40 car for MBM Racing. He is going to start eighth. So the rules are still the same. Caution laps count, 15 lap race here. And the winner will earn an additional 100 points. So Haley Deegan. For another Furniture Row teammate, one last heat. Could Martin Truex Jr. pull it off and could he also win his heat? But Terry Labonte, he has been a very strong car as well. Could he do anything about it? Pace cars pulled on in and here we go. We are underway here at North Wilkesboro. Truex gets to jump ahead, but Brad Keselowski is all the way down to the inside. Look at that run by Brad Keselowski. He jumps from third to first in one turn as Chase Briscoe is going to follow suit. Terry Labonte did not get a good run whatsoever as he is in the wall. I was going to say he's falling back, but he got way high on the racetrack and he is in the wall. No caution, lots of damage to the right side of his car. And so the big loser in this heat is already Terry Labonte. Brad Keselowski is now the leader. Chase Briscoe, the Eldora winner, is in second. And how about Brandon Jones, the big winner, as Carl Long gets into the outside wall. Brandon Jones, who started seventh in this heat, is now already battling his teammate, Martin Truex Jr., for the third position. And Brandon Jones is all over the back of Martin Truex Jr. as we speak. As they come off of turn number four here, Martin Truex gets way up high, and oh, we got trouble behind. Ryan Paris gets into the inside wall. I believe he got turned by Kaz Rolla. That will bring out the caution. As they come back to the line here, and Brandon Jones is underneath Martin Truex Jr. As they come back to the line, and Kaz Grala, who spun Ryan Priest out, he's going to get into, and he does. He passes Martin Truex Jr. for the fourth position. So caution is out. Terry Labonte and Ryan Priest are the big losers so far in this heat. Boy, that was crazy. All right, so while the pace laps are going on here, Let's uh let's look at Terry Labonte first. Yeah, what happened to him? He like did not have a good start at all. Was it Grala? Did Kaz Grala get into Terry Labonte? Into the outside wall. Yeah, yeah. Kaz Grala, he put Terry Labonte into the wall. No caution. But that was a very aggressive move by Kaz Grala. But now let's look at the Ryan Priest situation. 
So we were looking at Truex and Brandon Jones. Oh, Ryan Priest did get loose. Okay. And then Kaiserola just caught him at the very end there and turned him into the inside wall. Lots of front end damage to the 54. You saw a lot of damage fly out from the front of his car. So as we said before, the two big losers are Ryan Priest and Terry Labonte. So at this, at this point, Terry Labonte is eighth. Ryan Priest is seventh. All right, so the field has gotten the one to go. Keselowski is your leader. Could we just mention how huge of a start he had? Because in one turn, he went from third all the way to the lead. That was amazing. And then Chase Briscoe, who started in fourth, has jumped all the way up to the second position. And then how about the two winners so far, Brandon Jones and Kaz Grala, third and fourth, respectively. Base car has pulled on in here as Brad Keselowski is your leader, followed by Chase Briscoe, Brandon Jones, and Kaz Grala, your top four with Truex, your defending Cup Series champion in fifth. As far as we are underway here, and boy, that was really interesting. A couple of cars went way up high, trying to get more grip, and here goes Briscoe down to the inside of Keselowski. Side by side, they're gonna go into turn number two, and Keselowski is going to get the run, and Keselowski could clear Chase Briscoe right here. He tries to, but it looks like he will. I think Briscoe gave him a little bit of a break. Good call, as Keselowski is going to lead that lap. And no one has really made any passes, but look at fourth and third, as Kaz Grala is all over the back of Brandon Jones. Down the back straightaway here, as Keselowski continues to lead by about a car length over Briscoe. Let's look at third. Let's look at third here. As Grala, he has not given up on Brandon Jones' bumper. Keselowski almost got into the outside wall. I wanted to mention that. As we go into turn number one again, Kaz Grala is still all over the back of Brandon Jones. Oh my goodness. Get off the back bumper, Kaz. Jeez. And got into the turn number three here. And Brandon Jones does sweep up the racetrack. Kaz Grala has a nose underneath. As we only have three laps to go. Carl Long, I think, onto the outside wall. He's going to lose a spot to Ryan Priest. As Grala is underneath Brandon Jones now for the third position. I would not be surprised if he gets third because Mayfield finished third and he spun Paul Menard out. And Elliot Sadler finished third in his heat. And there we go. Grala is third. But we cannot count out the leaders as Briscoe has not given up on Keselowski with now only two laps to go. My mistake as Chase Briscoe is all over the back of Keselowski. How about Grala? Could he get on Chase Briscoe's bumper? Boy, Grala has a really strong car. Coming off of turn number four and Grala is all over the back of Briscoe now. Down into turn number one and Grala is now all over the back of Chase Briscoe. Could he do anything with Chase? Down into turn number two, Keselowski is going to continue to lead and looks like he's going to win this heat. But can Grala get second place from Briscoe? Down into the final turn again. He's pushing him high. He's pushing him high. Coming off of turn number four and he gets him loose and he he spins to the line and it looks like did Grala get it yes he did oh my wow oh my Kaz Grala man that was so aggressive Chase Briscoe did finish third by the way eight one hundredths of a second yeah let's uh let's look at that finish off so turn number four Grala was all over the back of Chase Briscoe not giving it up whatsoever Brandon Jones was trying to storm on in and try to get an extra spot but he did not and let's just look at the picture here, like the quote-unquote photo finish. Yeah, as you look, yeah, Gorilla's nose did put out a head. Not too sure if there's a rule on whether uh, his nose has to be in front first or just a part of the car. But wow, Chase Briscoe did finish backwards, but he is credited with third place. So after all of that, so Brad Keselowski now has the most points out of the group with 167. Martin Truex Jr. is now second most with 162. Chase Briscoe now third with 142 points. Terry Labonte now has 137 points. Kaz Grala with 127. Ryan Priest with 117. Brandon Jones with 107. And then finally Carl Long with 82 points. We are halfway done, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, Heat 6 will begin. Who will win? Who will spin? 
and who will help me with the A main event? All those answers and more will be unveiled soon. We'll take a break here. Don't go anywhere.